Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for feel uncomfortable with my girlfriend's dynamic with her male best friend? I've been dating Julia, who's 25, for about a year now. We've been friends for four years, and this relationship feels really serious for both of us. We've talked about moving in together, getting married and even starting a family. At the beginning of our relationship, Julia introduced me to her best friend, a man named Tom, who is 25. Tom became her roommate when she moved to the city three years ago during COVID-19. Even after moving out, they remained close friends. In my opinion, Tom seemed like a decent guy. When I met him, any subconscious sense of competition disappeared. I saw him as harmless and not a threat at all. He has a laid-back attitude, an average marketing job and enjoys smoking weed and playing video games. Not to be disrespectful, but he just didn't strike me as Julia's type. Julia invited him out with us on multiple occasions during the first few months we were dating, and I made every effort to be as friendly as possible, trying to take an interest in his job, talking about his interests in gaming and music, etc. I bought his sister a drink at a food festival, she tagged along, and later covered one of his meals when he realized he didn't have cash on him, though he never got me back. He seemed like a decent person, and he genuinely grew on me during our limited interactions. About a month into the relationship, Julia dropped a bit of a bombshell on me. A few years ago, during their time as roommates, during COVID, she and Tom had a month-long romantic fling. They had sex at least twice before she ended things. In her words, the sex was really bad, and they were better as friends. I don't have a ton of experience when it comes to dating, but this felt like a red flag to me. However, I'm living in a big city now, and I knew that Julia was more of a free spirit after going into this relationship. It was three years ago, and I'm completely in love with her now. Therefore, I have spent months trying to convince myself that it's not a big deal. However, since learning about her past with Tom, Julia and I have been having big arguments as I've increasingly struggled to deal with difficult feelings of jealousy. Basically, situations I previously might have thought were harmless now just drive me up the wall. For example, I've started noticing that Julia texts and calls Tom pretty much every day. They talk just as frequently if not more frequently than her female friends. I have not snooped, nor would I, but Julia heavily implies that while most of the conversation is shallow, she often discusses important, more emotional, or personal topics with him. Julia confides in Tom about significant and private details related to our relationship. In addition to speaking with him about arguments we've had, she has also told him about more intimate, private details related to our sex life. For example, one week, I thought I was having a serious pain-related sexual problem, which scared me enough to go to the doctor's office. After it turned out that I was fine, Julia laughingly told Tom about the whole mishap. When I'm not around to hang out, Julia will go hang out with Tom without me. To me, these hangouts almost have the makings of dates, they go on long walks in the park, they go dancing, they go thrift store shopping, they see movies, they get dinner, they might go to a bar afterward, etc. He once hit her up with an extra ticket to a concert with her favorite singer. I never expected to third-wheel their friendship, but after almost a year, Tom has never invited me to tag along. One time when I got out of work early, Julia invited me last minute to a dinner that Tom had previously scheduled with her at a popular restaurant, Needs Reservations. When I got there, Tom and Julia had started eating already, and the hostess told me there were no more seats, so I left and sat in the park by myself and ate a deli sandwich before meeting up with them almost an hour and a half later at a nearby bar. Julia apologized, saying she had sent a text about five minutes before I arrived saying there were no seats left. I bought a fancy cake pan for my new apartment at Julia's suggestion because she said she wanted to make me a lemon cake, my favorite for the first time. While I was out of town, she sent me a video of her in my apartment where I regularly let her stay while I'm out slash on a business trip with Tom and a woman friend with a fresh baked lemon cake. When I got home a few days later, I found she had left me a few cut up pieces of leftover cake in a box. For Christmas, Tom bought her a purse. It's not super expensive, $100 and, and it's definitely a gag gift on the side, 
it has a meme reference, but it still felt strange to me, I have close female friends, who I've not slept with, with boyfriends, and I would think twice before buying them a purse. I wonder if Julia would be okay with me buying another woman a purse. Julia now wears the purse wherever she goes. While I was on a camping trip with some friends, Julia was staying at my apartment. On my way back home, I asked her what she was up to, and she said she had invited Tom over to my apartment to watch a movie after they got dinner. By the time I got home, Tom was gone. I've asked Julia if Tom had dated anyone since they stopped hooking up a few years ago, and she said no. He has apparently had a hookup or two with randos from parties, but has not dated at all. As someone who has previously been attracted to a woman, friend, without their knowledge, let alone someone I've hooked up with, it feels to me like Tom is possibly still a bit infatuated with Julia, even if he's not really conscious of it day to day. And though I don't believe Julia currently has any explicit feelings, romantic or sexual, for Tom, I can't help but feel that in the aftermath of their sexual relationship, they have an emotional intimacy that sometimes feels a bit inappropriate, given our current relationship and their history. To me, it sometimes almost feels like she has a second partner with similar emotional access, and it puts a great deal of pressure on me. In my head it's like, if I'm not taking her out on a date, she's hanging out with a former lover if we have an argument, she's telling a former lover etc. I don't think Julia would cheat on me, nor do I even really think Tom is actively making a pass at her. I feel disrespected on some level, though I struggle to articulate exactly why. It's also given me some odd questions about the future of our relationship. If we get married, is my wife just always going to be hanging out with this guy she previously slept with and has this deep emotional connection with? Is he going to be constantly in the loop on our marital disagreements? Etc. Julia and I have been arguing for almost a month over Tom, as I've tried, admittedly imperfectly, to just express how I feel. Though I recognize their friendship has had a positive impact on her life, and I would never forbid her from remaining friends with him, she recently told me during an argument, unprompted, that if I ever gave her an ultimatum to choose between him and me, she would leave me. She insists there is absolutely nothing between them and that their dynamic is normal for people in the city. Further, she says anything I feel is a projection due to my comparative dating and experience. I love and respect Julia deeply, and the harshness of her pushback against me, even expressing how I feel, has me questioning everything. I'm aware that I have many biases, and maybe there's a possibility here where I'm just a sheltered prude who needs to catch up with the modern state of the world, so I would welcome everyone's perspective on this situation particularly folks who may not agree with me. Thank you. Update Holy SHT When I originally made this post a few weeks ago, I thought I'd get three to four responses tops. I never expected to get this much traction. I woke up the next day to thousands of comments and notifications. My phone would not stop buzzing. I had to change my privacy settings because a moderator told me the post would probably hit Reddit's front page. In addition to all the comments, I also received around approximately 400 or so private messages, 99% kind and supportive, several of them quite long, and as surprisingly, a bit more than half from women. I'm trying to go through and respond to the more meaningful ones, but honestly, it's all a bit much. After reading thousands of your comments, I think the key takeaway has been realizing that Tom is not the problem. My jealousy is a distraction from the elephant in the room. Julia does not seem to respect me as an equal partner, nor does she care much about my feelings as a person. I've been likely fixating on Tom because I did not want to admit that Julia is not very kind to me. On the one hand, it has been incredibly validating to realize that this situation isn't normal, and I'm not crazy for feeling put off by it. On the other hand, being forced to confront that my partner doesn't seem to love me the way I love them has been very disheartening. I think I knew deep down, I just didn't want to believe it. I guess I just wanted to live a bit longer in the fantasy. Thank you everyone for your input.